Welcome to Favorite Wear. My name is John. So today is going to be another super exciting episode. I'll be visiting the second smallest country in the world, which is Monaco. Monaco is situated about 40 minutes drive from Nice. So that's why I can drive there today. It's、um, also one of the most richest countries in the world. I read online that the average GDP, GDP per capita is about $150,000 per person. And most of the people who live there, they're like millionaires, literally millionaires. So it's going to be a very interesting place for sure. A lot of wealth there. I've never been there myself. so... Let's see how it goes. But today, I have a mission though. I want to explore the whole country in one day. Before I do that, I have to take you to see the whole Monaco from above. So, the first destination is actually not Monte Carlo, it's actually called the Dog's Head. It is this amazing viewing point overlooks the amazing country of Monaco. So, I'll be doing that first. So, without further ado, Let's get driving. Just parked my car. There are very few parking spaces here, but there are plenty more further down the road. So don't worry if you can't find a parking space here. But the view here is already starting to look spectacular. My goodness. The view, though, on the right hand side, you can clearly see Nice over there. Let's keep going. I'm try trying to get a view from the left hand side of the dog's head because that is the whole point. Because I want to. View of Monaco. There's a little tunnel that you could go through. Here comes the big review. This is cool. It's so cool. Now, let's officially head over to Monaco. Let's go. Meters, turn left onto Route de la Turbie, D37. Even the taxi drives a BMW SUV here. <laughs> This is crazy. In 600 meters, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Boulevard du Jardin Exotique. I am officially in Monaco. Wait, did I even go for a border protection? I literally I just drove past through Monaco without any some kind of border check or whatever. This is so cool. Like, how there's no like border control whatsoever. But, anyways, so right now I am at the southwest end of Monaco. But I'm gonna park my car at the northeast end. So that in that way, I can explore the whole country. Turn left onto Boulevard Rainier 3. In 200 meters, sharp left onto Rue Louis o r e l l i a l Next left onto r u e Louis Aurelia. In 400 meters, merge onto Tunnel Aurelia. Why is that car following me?
I'm so 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 glad that I'm doing this because first you see Monaco from above. Second of all, you drive around Monaco, you get the whole vibe of the country, you know. So that's why I decided to start off from the very northeast end of Monaco. So I get to drive through Monaco and see the whole country. I have to say this country is posh, posh, expensive, extravagant. This place is incredible. Like this whole country is built on top of a hill. This kind of reminds me of Hong Kong a lot, you know. Especially Hong Kong Island where you have like these high rises. Oh my goodness, the parking lot that I wanted to park my car at, apparently they closed off the road. So now I don't know where I'm gonna park my car now. So I have to turn back. Okay, now what should I do? Like the parking situation here is difficult. Okay, I see a P there. So possibly I could park here, it says two. Again, it's so expensive. Let's park here. I don't know. Is this Make a U-turn, then turn parking? left. No, is this for sir. No. No. What's up with this parking lot? Like every single one of them is reserved. And I can't park every day parking or else to turn in a different direction. Damn, this parking space is tight as F. You know what, I'm getting out. It's just not worth the time. I don't want to unpark here. All right, now I have a new problem. Now if I'm parking, another parking spot that is not like taking two million years. How much is this parking? Is this parking? I don't know. Seriously guys, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm just like desperately trying to find parking space right now. That's how. Oh my God, don't tell me I just made a huge U-turn. Oh my God. This is such a nightmare. All right, so I guess this video will just be a drive through, a driving video. Now, I'm just joking. Obviously, I'm, just, I'm gonna get off the car and walk around. That's the whole point. I don't wanna just drive around Monaco. So, hopefully I find something because I've been driving for the past 15 minutes. Yikes. Is the parking here? I don't know. Because 
doesn't look like there's parking. I'm just gonna go straight. Yikes, Ugh. it's hard for me to stop the car because there are so many like cars literally behind me. I can't do anything. Literally cars like right behind my tail. Did I just drive into a restaurant area? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Oh, never mind. There are cars here. But every time when I drove to such places, I get kind of nervous. Because I don't even know if I'm driving correctly, you know? I mean, a foreign place. It's my first time here, so it's not easy. I don't know what to do. What does that say? Metropole parking takes free. Okay. Maybe I will check this one out. Hopefully there's parking. If not, I'm screwed. Are there parking? I don't know. Damn, this parking is expensive. 240 euro for 30 minutes. So an hour, that's what, like almost five bucks for parking. And then again, $5 per hour. It's spare change to people living here. So this is the parking lot, just in case if I get lost or I forgot where I parked. Let's go. This is pretty cool. I like this gold. What kind of mall is this? Oh, that kind of chandeliers. That's bougie. More chandeliers in this mall. Damn. So right next to the shopping center, there's this little park with a pond. I didn't even realize, but that is the Monte Carlo Casino. That's the main attraction here in Monaco. I just realized like how close my parking spot is to Monte Carlo Casino. So let's just go this way. It's a beautiful building, I have to say. Oh, no surprises here. You have a Lamborghini SUV parked right outside. What a cool modern apartment. And underneath you have these high fashion boutiques. This is so cool. This is like an urban jungle. With these ultra modern high rise apartment buildings. As always, Louis Vuitton always gets the best seat in the house right next to the casino, which is just down there. Here I am. I like how there's so many flags of Monaco. Oh, cool. Literally, there's a Ferrari car. There's a person they're trying to park. Is that a hotel? Oh, it's bougie.
All right, you have Royce Royce, you have a Ferrari, like right outside. So directly the opposite of the casino, you have those high-end boutiques. I was there earlier. Then you have this park I was also at a little earlier. And the view from here is pretty cool. Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. You just casually have a Bentley park right outside this hotel. I love this casino, like the, the building. Like, it's so cool. So let's go down here and see what we can find. I'm just, I have no idea where I'm going. I guess. Like everywhere in Monaco is an attraction. And I also have to mention the trees and flowers here, they're very pretty. And also kind of exotic. Like you have like bird or paradise there. And you even have like some cactus. This place is very nice. You have like the super luxury yacht down there. Then this is the port. I don't I thought this was the uh, yacht to begin with. Then I realized it's a building. Then over here you have the beautiful skyline. And I believe I was just up there not too long ago. The dark head where overlooks the whole Monaco. Definitely a must visit attraction. You know how in Cannes you have hands of fame? In Monaco you have foot of fame. So one thing I noticed about Monaco is there's a hybrid, a lot of like new and a lot of old, you know, you have like these pretty nice old buildings, but then again, you have also these ultra modern high rise. What do we have here? We have a mini amusement park right beside the marina. Okay, that's fun. Like you have like that slide going on. So the amusement park is at this location, La Conda Mine. But these are the places I'm gonna check it out. So I think these places are gonna be more interesting. I'm gonna climb those steps. Uh, that's funny. There's even a sign telling you to dress up. I didn't even notice, but this amusement park is kind of big. It goes all the way from there, from the slides, and goes all the way down here. That's a good 10 minute, 15 minute walk of a distance. By the looks of it, it looks like some sort of castle. This is interesting. It's like a castle, like a palace. I like this uniform. It's very cool. You have blue and red stripes. And goodness, I didn't even notice there is like a square on top of the hill. Not only you get a palace, but also you get a stunning view of Monaco. Oh, you have these like cannonballs lined up here and a cannon. Not sure if it's still working or not. Okay, a mini marina. This is such a cool castle. But I don't think you can go inside. It's like the door is locked. I love the buildings here. I think it's very well maintained of the colors. 
Looks so cool. Goodness, I love this street. It's so cute and beautiful. It looks like some sort of cathedral. Cool, it is a cathedral. And it's also a very beautiful one. I love like the design architecture. This narrow alleyway looks interesting. Let's check it out. Mostly just like souvenir shops. I sell like t-shirts. Hats. Also, there's a restaurant area. Okay. Let's see if I can get something to eat. I'm kind of hungry now, too. This area is cute. Not sure if this is a hotel or something else. I was blind. It's a police station. I was wondering why there are so many Monaco flags outside. Okay, makes sense now. I have to say the view from here is incredible. Like, look at this view. Wow. Here I am called the okay the Korean basically but you have to buy tickets here to get in I mean first impressions it doesn't even look like a Korean it just looks like a museum like seriously if I didn't know this is a museum I mean a Korean I would have never guessed look at it the architecture, it's like, it looks like a palace. This area is extremely cool. I love like the graphics in the screen here. It's making this whole place super interactive. And now we have a spinning globe. Wow, goodness. Today, Monaco has extremely exceeded my expectations. Everything here is over the top, pretty, extravagant, fancy, but in a good way though. So right now, I'm gonna head over back to my parking lot. It's gonna be a long walk. I would say at least maybe 30, 40 minutes walk from this place I'm at right now. But what a fantastic day today. I did everything I could in one day. But overall, like everything I've done so far today in Monaco has been amazing. I love it. And this whole country is extremely beautiful, don't get me wrong. This concludes my video in Monaco. And in the future, I will definitely come back to this wonderful country. Beautiful, beautiful. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in my next video.